summary of book first. The Elizabethan poetry, as it is rather vaguely termed, forms the substance of this book, which contains pieces from Wyatt under Henry VIII to Shakespeare midway through the reign of James I, and Drummond, who carried on the early manner to a still later period. There is here a wide range of style, from simplicity expressed in a language hardly yet broken into verse, through the pastoral fancies and Italian conceits of the strictly Elizabethan time, to the passionate reality of Shakespeare. Yet a general uniformity of tone prevails, Few readers can fail to observe the natural sweetness of the verse, the single-hearted straightforwardness of the thoughts, nor less the limitation of subject to the many phases of one passion which then characterized our lyrical poetry, unless when, as with Drummond and Shakespeare, the purple light of love is tempered by a spirit of sterner reflection. It should be observed that this and the following summaries apply in the main to the collection here presented, in which, besides its restriction to lyrical poetry, a strictly representative or historical anthology has not been aimed at. Great excellence in human art, as in human character, has from the beginning of things been even more uniform than mediocrity, by virtue of the closeness of its approach to nature. And so far as standard of excellence kept in view has been attained in this volume, a comparative absence of extreme or temporary phases in style, a similarity of tone and manner will be found throughout, something neither modern nor ancient, but true in all ages, and like the works of creation, perfect as on the first day.